Oh yeah! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back with another Geek Culture Congress. I am your host, as always, Louis Speedy Jr. Gonzalez, here with a very famous and talented Mr. Tarek Lewis. Yeah, Esquire. Tarek Esquire. Lewis, Esquire. Esquire. <laughs> yeah. And also, shabby. of course, <laughs> the king of late night radio here in Tampa, Florida, Mr. Joey Franchise, right. the reigning champion, okay? Yeah. Undisputed. Damn, man. This guy with the <laughs> intro. This guy hired That's him just for my intro. I don't even need all those artists and stuff or whatever when I'm my show yeah. starts. Yeah. I need this yeah. guy. Hey, come on. I, yeah, I, I, could, I could be a producer, man. I could do it. I can do it. Let's get it. All right, man. Let's get into it. Get into the show today, man. We got a lot to talk about. That's, uh, of course, we are live once again on Facebook. So uh, anybody who's on uh, the Facebook page, um, let's take a moment to uh, share that because you know uh, Facebook doesn't like to cooperate and let everybody see you know that we're live. So we're gonna we're gonna try and and freak it and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Sure. Um, so uh, we are going to talk about. Avengers Endgame, the I told trailer, you it was coming the out, trailer, man. yes. And the problem was, I called it. Uh, of course, that you know we can't, we we, we have to uh, uh, talk about this other stuff too. So you know, I, I don't want, I want to make sure we have a whole show that um, it's okay, it's okay, man, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> you gave somebody some deja vu there, it was all right. <laughs> oh man, it's, this thing says we could start a watch party. Yeah, I don't watch even know how parties. that works. Uh, how does that work? Guys, anybody who's watching on the this, on the Facebook page, please tell me uh, how saying, that works. Yeah, I was about to say, like, is this um, cool? let's yeah. see, this is this share, this is share, and watch part. Anyway, so um, guys, the the Avengers trailer hit, and your first reactions, Mr. Tarek Lewis. Um, you know, I was a little underwhelmed at first. Underwhelmed, really? Underwhelmed, but I get it. Now that I've seen it, you know, three or four times, no, they can't I give us it. the, uh, you know, the whole, uh, uh, yeah, no, the no. whole turkey. It's, it's, you know what I mean? Te- 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 right? I liked it. I liked it. Um, a lot of Captain America, who's in the films at least, is one of my favorite Avengers storylines to follow. So I'm with that. I uh, love the ending. I love the ending with uh, Scott Lang at the end. Yeah. Um, you know, it was, you know, what broke my heart is that Shuri is gone. She disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. You could. And there's, there's a scene where like you could see the screen, like they're looking for people, and it's Scott Lang and Shuri. And she's gone. I'm like, is Sherry gone? Did she disappear? No, I she think, didn't. I think she's disappeared. You think they, so? they don't show at the end, but uh-huh. there's a scene with uh, David ben, uh, uh, Bruce Banner looking at, you know, hmm. pictures of people like, in Scott Lang, and then it's Sherry in the other picture. And I'm, I'm thinking they're assuming he's gone because they can't find him because he's in that little universe. I personally think it's a fake out. Because you know, like the Russos are like yeah, Marvel's they're young. good at that. They fit, at they fake this out with the uh, with the running a uh, Hulk there, right? The, yeah. Um, yeah, that's you know, a good they point. Did do I wouldn't that. be surprised. That was a good they point. Do that. Or if Shuri could just got underground. Yeah, yeah. It was cool though. I mean, I like. I wasn't crazy. The Ronin thing didn't make me like, you know, jump out of my chair. But it was good to see Hawkeye. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm I'm curious to see what that storyline is going to be. Um, but again, I'm hyped because it's a lot of Cap, a lot of Captain America. You know. Yeah. It seems was. like so. Um, I'm really excited about that. I have my theories on what's going to happen with Tony. You know, but. We'll see. It's it was a good teaser. It was a good teaser trailer. When you realize it's a teaser trailer, it was good. Leo, shout out to Leo who's watching us on Facebook right now. Yeah. He says yeah. he says it was a great trailer. That hmm. He was super excited about it. So, uh, Joey franchise, give me your first reactions to the Avengers Endgame trailer teaser, whatever you want to call it. I got really hyped, um, you know, because I've been anticipating this thing for a very long time. So to finally like get a taste of what to expect. Still don't really know where the story's going. All we do know is that, uh, well, I feel like we're picking up right after, like probably like a day, like days after uh, the snap. <clears throat> so Tony's in, you know, running out of food and apparently needs to be rescued and is messaging Pepper Potts. So I'm assuming I'm, this is, you know, going into just guesstimating uh, that uh, Pepper Potts will throw on the rescue suit. 
Yes. No. And go out and try to save him or, or either distress signal that Captain Marvel probably picks up on the way going to Earth after answering uh, Nick Fury's call or whatever. But anyway, uh, the, 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 that's just stuff that the trailer just built up in my head that I automatically went into thinking. You know, right. I already got into just preparing like, is this what's going to happen? Is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? Right. So all these predictions I'm coming up with in my head as I'm watching. But it's dope. We get to see uh, this, the Thanos throw the armor on the Scarecrow like in the comics. Um, the Scott Lang stuff was really, really good. Uh, I'm glad. And I, it's, it's interesting at the end too, when they say, um, is this happening right now? Like, I'm wondering if Scott Lang is already time traveling because I guess there's like a picture, there's, um, there's somebody dissecting the trailer and I saw that, um, they found that the year on the video camera, uh, that they're looking at on the TV, uh, says 1983. Oh. So I'm assuming because you remember that that the the Avengers facility is the old Stark, uh, Stark headquarters. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering if uh, Ant Man's actually in time in the time vortex when this is all going down. 1980s. Okay. So this hmm. is really is is hmm. really interesting. But it, but then I'm trying to I figure out that. if he got through with the X Con van. Yeah. With the time vortex through the time vortex. I don't know. But the trailer was just amazing. It just built up all these possibilities. I'm really uh, curious about how Ronan comes about. Uh, with the Hawkeye character and like why he's just all up in Japan just murking mm-hmm. people. Like I don't know if he felt like they had something to do with his family's disappearance or what, but I mean Is he on a secret hmm. mission from That's what I'm saying. what's going on? I don't know what's going on with him. I, that's I, interesting. I, that's I'm interesting that, that 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 um that that theory right there. Uh, I think um I think it was just enough. They gave us just enough just to uh, you know, tickle our fancy. Yeah. Give us a little appetizer, what to expect. Without spoiling anything, without spoiling any connections about the uh, Porsche, we're gonna whatever we're gonna watch in Captain Marvel, uh, which is coming up soon. Way uh, I think two months before that, right? Yeah. As yeah. the March, as a March release, I think for that. Right. And um, they uh, uh, they definitely um, just gave enough just to you know wet our wet our what beak our with it, you know, just wet the beak. That's all they gave us. Your physicality of this is... <laughs> yeah, that was a little weird. We a little disturbing, it. dog. We gotta like, sell it on the camera. Man. We're live, yeah. man. We gotta sell it, okay? <laughs> um, you I'm think? excited, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I, don't, I don't think there's any any movie on the scale that Marvel, that even Disney themselves have ever done before in their life, you know? Um, so, I mean, I'm excited. So, uh, other than the other Avengers before this one. I don't know, so, Beauty and the Beast is kind of a big deal. <laughs> it's, it's a big deal. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. I, I, what? Beauty and the Beast did, is cool. You know, oh, but, um, yeah. you know, Star Wars movies are cool. Yeah. And But I, I just think this is just like, you know, it's a, it's a wild dream come true, man. It's a great time to be alive, to be watching these kind of, this movie, this, you know, the, just the way that they've built up to this, yeah. you know, over the decades, over the decade of 10 years of Marvel movies. Do it's you just think, amazing. Do you think that Endgame can match Infinity War? Even though it's going to be the conclusion, I think I just, it'll be hard. The hype is there, man. The people need a, need a resolution. I think it's going to be a dark ending. Yeah, it's it might, going to be hard be. to match all just that, that be, action. Just and not for nothing, just that cliffhanger moment. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, we we did like it felt like forever for this end game trailer and even yeah. the title to come out. So, yeah. like, I mean, I don't think anything stopping Infinity War is still going down. It's probably right now is one of my favorite Marvel movies like ever. Yeah, just off the strength of the fact that it really left you hanging, and it got we saw the Avengers in a vulnerable state. Like as soon as the snap happened, and everybody's just like, you know, what the hell? Like, all, like we're like, what the hell? Like, yeah, yeah. The team it was the, it's nuts, and then the team ups and nuts. all that. You know, seeing, seeing Thanos nice. finding action. It's, it's gonna be hard to top, as far as, you know, the anticipation. Like you said, the anticipation and the visuals. It'll be hard to top, but I think Endgame could be more like a if you take Civil War versus. Uh, like a, a Winter Soldier. Like Winter Soldier, I like more as a movie, but Civil War is more enjoyable to watch. Right. Yeah. I think um, Infinity War is going to be more enjoyable to watch in the long run, but then uh, Endgame will be like a really good film. I think it's going to be. It's just going to blow our minds. I really think it is. Yeah. I. I it's just going to. It's the uh, the crescendo. The crescendo of of what they've been building up. So it's just. It's going to be a lot of fan service in it. I mean, it's going to be a lot of. You know, I, I just can't wait, man. It's gonna be a lot of hand claps. You know, yeah. I, yeah, I think if be I pass away before that time, I think I'm gonna be upset. All right. For that reason, <laughs> yeah, Speedy, not, because, yeah. <laughs> not because I'm gone, man. <laughs> not, because, <laughs> not because you have a bad life insurance plan. Yeah. You're not worried about that. Bad life insurance Avengers plan, they'll be okay, game, man. It's not fair. Anyway. But or or let's be honest, it could be Spider-Man Three. 
<laughs> you never know. Too. Talking about Spider Man, they also released. Uh, they were supposed to release a trailer for Spider Man: uh, Far From Home. It was and, supposed to drop Friday. Yeah, that, and what happened? That Friday. Uh, I guess they pushed it back to the 18th. Mm. Hmm. So I, I I don't know, but they did show it at the uh, Brazil Comic Con. They did okay. So and Jake Gyllenhaal confirmed that he will be Mysterio finally. I think it was already. Mysterio. I think it was already done, but they just didn't want to announce it until, like, I guess the ink was dry or something yeah. like that. I don't know. But anyway, he did announce it. He did that little tease uh, where he's reading a Spider-Man comic, and he thought he was playing Spider-Man. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Really was it? So, which <laughs> is a funny. knock, which is like a base, a nod to the when he almost was in Spider-Man 2 because Tobey Maguire got hurt. Hmm. So they were going to bring Jake Gyllenhaal yeah. in to fill that role, but uh-huh. Tobey Maguire said, no, 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 I can do this. Yeah, I'm good, hmm. yeah. Shout out to everybody watching us live on Facebook. Rosaline, Wanda. Uh, we have, uh, who else we got here? Syed. Syed, what's up, Syed? What we up? got Syed watching us. We got, uh, let's see, Deborah is watching us. Uh, thanks for uh, t- uh, tuning in. And uh, if you miss anything of this podcast, of course, on the podcast feed, the audio will be up as soon as we're done with this show. Word. And talking about Spider-Man, continue our conversation about Spider-Man, uh, they released that uh, synopsis of the trailer. Right. Or it's just synopsis that they put usually on the uh, on the yeah. IWB, what, I forget the name of the website, You know, just so people know what the movie's supposed to be about in a nutshell. Right. Um, so he will you be... You have that there? Yep, I will. I got it right give here. Us, give us the uh, what it says. So Mr. Peter Joy Parker franchise. will be on vacation in Europe with a bunch of his friends, yeah. and uh, it looks like he will obviously have Obviously, he, he will be brought back Yes, somehow. obviously, yes. yeah. So, uh, you know, spoiler alert, you know, Spider-Man's coming back. Although I did predict that he did does die in Infinity War. Thank Why you. Why do you always bring that up? Like, as if... <laughs> This is my claim to fame, Joey. I mean, claim, my claim to fame, Terry. He got one prediction right. Can you, just let, can you just let the king of late night radio finish what he was saying? <laughs> moment. All right, okay, so, finish the synopsis, but, but sorry. The, what's interesting also about the trailer that they showed in Brazil at the Comic-Con was the fact that um, it doesn't really, it kind of separates itself from everything that happened. Right. So it's like its own thing. Yeah. You don't really see any connection with Infinity War. But obviously, um, this movie does pick up, from what we know, is that it does pick up after the events of Endgame. So after Endgame, this is probably just moments afterwards that the Spider-Man uh, uh, Far From Home kicks off. But he's in uh, Europe with a bunch of his friends, and Nick Fury uh, asks for his help to uh, hunt down a bunch of beings that known as the Elementals. Beans? Like beans? Like beans. beanstalk beans? Beans. beans. Oh, beans. beans. Sorry. This is my accent. <laughs> The up north accent. <laughs> I thought we were changing new genres here. Wait, 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 we're talking about a new movie? Jack Chipotle. Beans <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Into Chipotle that's a bad joke. Quick. Sorry. I'll leave the jokes to Tarek now. Yeah, so um, they're called elementals. So if Nick yeah. Fury needs Spider Man's help hmm. to find out, find these elementals and bring them down, uh, Jake Jalen in the hall uh, comes through as Mysterio, and he's actually an elemental pro. What a coinky dink. Okay. You know mm. what I'm saying? And he's also recruited by Fury. So. Spider-Man and Mysterio are going to be working hand in hand in the movie. Interesting. Okay. They're going to be actually working together, so which is really weird. Uh, but f- like I said, Far From Home will pick up after Endgame, um, and that's pretty much most of the details that we got going on. I think well, my uh, prediction is is that uh, Mysterio is creating these elementals uh, just so he can make he he he's i think he's infatuated with the idea of being a superhero mm. or infatuated with these superheroes that he actually wants to become one and since he's like a master at you know creating you know all these illusions and stuff like that like yeah. he's creating these elementals to show that show his worth you know to like a Nick Eating. Fury and and yeah. the Avengers and things like that so That's interesting. It's going to be crazy. That that really I didn't uh, think about it that way. It really intrigued me when they said that uh Spider-Man and Mysterio were going to work together. That is interesting. So it's pretty it, I I can't wait for this. Yeah. This is going to be it's going to be crazy how they going to flip this. Yeah. Hmm. Where where does I, so I like what they're doing with the Spider-Man because they're like we got Vulture and now we're getting Mysterio, which are, which are decent villains. Like Vulture turned out to be a really good villain, but it's really like Second tier Spider Man villains that we're getting. Yeah. Like, we're not getting Doc Ock and Green Goblin. What? Well, you know, and, I, I um, beg to differ. I think, I think Mysterio is a pretty decent villain. He, you know, but I've, I've never would have pictured, <laughs> but see, you couldn't tell me, like, yeah. You could never. I mean, you know, he's not just, I don't think he's the same power level as Spider Man, you know, but, you know, I think he, uh, gives like Spider Man a problem. On, but where do you, where do you rank your, your, your Spider Man villains? <laughs> Well, that you know, obviously the the Joker of Spider Man is Green Goblin. You know that's the right. arch nemesis of all time. You know what I mean? 
And then there's, of course, Doc Ock Doc is Ock. a very good one. Um, the Chameleon uh, is yeah. another one. But that, um, I feel like Chameleon is a tier two character. Yeah, he's also. definitely tier uh, two. Definitely uh, the Scorpion. The Scorpion. Scorpion, yeah. 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 Which, uh, I, we did yeah, see. We did see him. We did get to introduce him in the first movie. And I don't know if I'm down with that, with the way it was introduced. But I accept it. Um, Vulture was a very key, was a key character, too. Um, he was one, one of the intro villains that he fought against. Kingpin is overall the Kingpin, guys you definitely. True. We, I don't know if we're gonna get Kingpin because no, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna get him in the film. But no, I, I go I go like Green Goblin, and I keep in, I'm keeping Carnage and Venom separate. I think Venom's one of his biggest. Mm. He's right there with Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely so, in popularity. Green as well. Goblin, Venom, Doc Ock, Kingpin, and then after that you start you start having to pair them together. <laughs> you know, lizards up there. You, then you, yeah. you're like, okay, you're Sinister Six. You know, like uh, Electro. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. no Electro. Yeah. I mean, Shocker is another similar one, like Electro. And then, uh, you know, a Mysterio. It's, uh, you know, he's there. He's definitely part of the Sinister Six. He's a the Sinister yeah. Six, but he yeah. has a little globe on his head and a little. Yeah, I don't know how you. I don't know how you sell the globe on, on yeah, yeah. You know, in live action. I don't yeah. know. How you, you sell yeah. it yeah. in the comics. You're just gonna give him really funny. large glasses. <laughs> that's like the only option you could do. For real, that's like trying. That's like Batman trying to bring back Mr. Freeze again. We saw how terrible oh, that yeah, looked. Really oh. bad. Yeah, that wasn't. That didn't bode well for all of East Side uh, Europe. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all it wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good look at all. So, um, uh, let's uh, let's get into now. Uh, Joey, you got to check out uh, the the brand new Spider Man. Is it the Spider Verse? Yes. You saw the preview, and you didn't invite me or Tarek. I told you guys that we were getting it this weekend. Really? Or last we, weekend? We we oh. we should have been in, us included, right? Um, what happened with that? I, Tarek? I don't know if yeah. you was gonna get up at ten o'clock in the morning. Bro. I, I would have made it happen. <laughs> ten o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Where did you go? Were you in a different time zone? <laughs> yeah, I went into the time vortex and went to go watch it. 10 o'clock in the morning? Uh, yeah. Okay, so no, I right. wasn't getting up. All right. Yeah, we see, that's you. what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't going to get up, but okay? I did mention that we had up. the premiere passes for that. We. Okay, Someone so says they can't hear you. I don't know if they're talking to me <laughs> or not. It, it popped up on your phone. Here. Oh, oh, they can't hear you, me or you? I don't know. It's just I can't hear you. I can't it, hear it you It might have been a text message. To check one, two. Wait, so hey, you're talking? Who's talking? Joey? You're currently you're talking. talking. Oh, okay. I'm talking. And <laughs> go ahead. You're talking. I see you were. Everybody, okay. Everybody's coming out. We should be fine. All right. All right. Cool. Levels right. is good. But yeah, I did get a chance to see it. I uh, definitely woke my ass up uh, to go catch it. And um, I was very, 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 very impressed. Uh, probably the best Spider-Man movie that ever? Sony had. Sony. Ever. Well, Sony. No, just Sony. Not the Sony not Disney ever. collab, but just the best Sony. It was not better Spider-Man than product Homecoming. They put out. It's right there with Homecoming. I might be just a tad bit better than Homecoming. I'm not gonna really? lie. Really? I ain't gonna front. Oof, that's, that's a good. hard. It's okay. really good. That's no, a hard statement, really, Joey Franchise. Really good. I, you know you what? You are testifying right now go, in front of the geekdom a, of Tampa Bay and the world. Bro, I will go out on the limb and say that that was better than Homecoming. So I put that at as far as Spider Man movies go. Yeah. Homecoming. I'm just giving my top three. Homecoming. I mean, uh, Spider Verse, Homecoming, and uh, Spider Man Two. Hmm. Uh, Tom McGuire, Spider Man Two. Wow. Okay. So wow, it was it was amazing. I don't want to spoil too much. I'm I definitely want to give you guys now. a chance. I definitely want to go back and forth with you guys to kind of talk about it. But just uh, the animation was on point. Uh, just certain details about uh, like Miles Morales' character. Uh, just how they integrated all the you know the the, the Spider Verse characters, uh, and and they were on point like to the T. Wow, about every character. Like there was no flaw whatsoever in the movie. Um, yeah, it's just I didn't know. Like I literally was trying to find something like, eh, you know, they could have did this better, but and there was probably one, and, and it involved Kingpin, Kingpin's character. I don't want to go too much into detail, mm. but I just wish a certain he was, you know, they they elaborated a little bit more yeah. on on him because we'd never seen him in you know in on a movie you know since Daredevil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a, a terrible Daredevil I like movie. It. I like it, but it was just a great movie. The soundtrack sounds amazing too. The music was great. Um, even like Miles Morales' swag was on point. Like it's real. Out. Like okay, you felt, you out. felt like it was very New York too. Yeah, which was awesome. And um, and I'm really excited because they're actually dropping the sneakers that he wears in the movie. Yeah, I heard about this. I'm about to go pick up a pair this week, so I'm pretty hyped. But yeah, the movie was just amazing. I listen. It's not just for kids, and you know, it's it's definitely 
something everybody can enjoy. So. Oh yeah, I'm wow. going. I'm going matinee. Right. I'm sneaking a yeah. bottle of liquor in. Dude, there's no cap. That that movie is amazing. <laughs> My girl was like making fun of me. She's like, "Oh, you going to see a cartoon?" I'm like, "Look, it's an animated movie." Yeah, the women. She, she, uh, so, well, women who are not. Don't. I said, girl, you never got up for Saturday morning cartoon? What's wrong with you? Yeah, exactly. She's going to be next to you for Lion King <laughs> crying. Yo, legit. As you want to yeah. talk about, oh my God, the Lion King movie. I want to see That's it. That's crazy. That's of course. Crazy. But yes, definitely go see Spider Man into the Spider Verse. <sighs> I'm going this weekend. I, I, I got to go see it again. I don't want to hear. I don't want to get to... What a test, uh, testimony that was. I, yeah. I, now I'm great super excited. Great story, too, man. Very now great might, story. I might catch this uh, the showing that they have at 7 o'clock the day before at uh, over here in downtown St. Pete. Okay. And I live in town and country. You, you be, <laughs> trust me, you'll be amazed with the cal- character development. I might in just the movie. have to make that happen because you, you know, there's so many Spider-Man, you know, characters that are being bunched up in this movie. But right. the, the, just the the story that gets told about each and every one of them, like, is is it's on point. It's and just wow. Miles Morales is, you know, it's like a coming of age story. So it's 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 great. Wow, I'm excited. I, I can continuously just like say nothing but positive things about this movie. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped. Yeah. For it. I was I was hyped me for too. it, especially after the uh, little preview in the Venom. At the end of Venom film, yeah. Okay, this is gonna be, it's gotta be at least decent, you know. Oh, and the end is awesome, yo, hilarious. So stay to the end credit, uh, yo. <laughs> it, it just if you've ever watched any Spider, seen Spider Man memes, they come there that you've okay. seen on social media, yeah. they pop up in the movie. It's okay. awesome. Wow, that's funny. All right, cool. So I'm excited about that. Spider Man to Spider Verse out this weekend. Go check it out. It's is you give it a hundred percent. Oh franchise? yeah, full on. Hundred and ten. Okay. Means percent. all your expectations and more. Yeah, I nice. want to see. I want to see more. Like I'm really interested in seeing, Dope. you know, more spinoffs of that. Dope. Very cool. All right. So talking about movies that are coming out, uh, we have the Godzilla King of Monsters two, which uh, Tarek is definitely hype about that. Dude, I'm, crazy. I'm okay. I'm on the fence. You know. You're on the. Fence. I I'm was the at fence. first. The first trailer I was on the fence. The second one because I saw oh, the, guy, the King Kong. Up. You yeah. know, I, I, this. The King Kong is part of this universe, right? The one that just I, came out. I think so. They're speculating that they're gonna, they'll do a Godzilla vs. King Kong at some point. At some point, but is it yeah. even on the level? Like, is, is King Kong even the same size as Godzilla? Well, well, they made him in the most recent movie a lot bigger than he normally is. Hmm. They fought before, like in the old '60s movies. Yeah, of King course. Kong, Godzilla fought. Yeah, yeah, of course. They had to make that happen. So Godzilla's but, um, really big in this movie, though. <laughs> my question is though. Is, like I watched the new trailer and I, uh, go check it out. It's trailer two, Godzilla King of Monsters. Uh, it's on the Gig Culture Congress page. As a matter of fact, I think I shared it. And I tried to listen to the audio, but all I hear was. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there's some little talking here and there. But what we're not going to do is come up here and, and, and criticize sound designers <laughs> on set. <laughs> but in the same, they're in the like, union. You know, <laughs> <speak. laughs> I mean, you know, it was no didn't get I didn't get no juice for the plot. The main characters are monsters. You wanted like dialogue? Yeah, I wanted some dialogue. Why why what's Listen, going man, on? You know, I get it. They were like the Titans are awake and come on, you and, go to you go some of them we don't know which ones are friends or foes, what what the trailer said. And you know, that's all we got. Listen, you go <laughs> into Jurassic of- Park movies expecting to see some dinosaurs eating people. You, yeah. in, in the beginning that's, of the that's trailer, their cash uh, out. that's uh, their payoff. What's the, the actress that was in um, Stranger Things? I guess is in this yeah, movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, Billy, M- yeah. Billy Bobby Brown. Billy Bobby, so in the Billy beginning Billy of the Bobby trailer, Brown. she's in, on this ham radio or radio, and she's trying to talk to people, I guess. And then she finally gets a uh, uh, some audio, and, uh, and she, she gets <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of that's what happens, Vinny. What do you think, Vinny? You act like <laughs> you act like it should be one voice. Oh my God, I'm being killed no. by giant monsters. I, I did. It was enjoy. It was good. It had some good uh, fighting. It did the trailers. It's gonna know. be a really good you visual. Know, I'm like, interested in it. I'm not saying awesome. I won't deny it. I'm not. I'm not not interested in it. Okay, I'm interested. I'm in hyped it. for it. I'm, I really am. Yeah. But I I grew up I grew up watching those things on like Sunday afternoon. Godzilla, the old Japanese ones will come those, on. Those and, are kind of like, oh, this is on. Let me watch yeah, it for nah, a while. I used to love those things, yeah. man. Gehedra and all these other little mm-hmm. characters. I was okay like, about it. Loved them. I guess that's why. Yeah. What about you, Joey? It's good. I'm, I remember the first. I have to really go back and watch the first one again. Because I'm trying to figure out, like, at what point did things get this bad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? The movie? Or? Yeah. Like like good like it's good but like oh. how did in the movie oh, like, like for the, it's for like the story, apocalyptic already yeah, yeah like it's yeah. they just went from like all right well you know God the first one Godzilla came through you know well, yeah. King messing Kong. stuff King up, Kong yeah you know and uh, King Kong what and the King Kong because at the end of King Kong they're like oh the Titans are, are yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are, are 
sleeping and are about to wake or whatever. At the oh, end. at the end of King Kong? Yeah. Did you say that? I got to yeah. go back and watch that, yeah. too. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. I just remember the Godzilla one. Yeah, Godzilla one was pretty crazy. But it's it just, like I said, it just got really is apocalyptic. That, is, was the, is that combined, though? This, that, that, that Godzilla that had come out and King Kong? And this is like the Godzilla Part 2, kind of? This is Godzilla it's Part, part two. 2. Whoa. You yeah. see? Now sequel. I get it. This is a sequel to Godzilla. You thought, you thought King now Kong was tied it. in it's with like, this universe? Like a cloud over my head. Yeah, yeah. So we just got, we're just going to disregard your, your yeah. opinion on the trailer. Because <laughs> <laughs> all you did was just hear that. And, we, and as a DJ, you were like, ah. The left is not just, the They're not bouncing terrible. the left and right channels the correct way. <laughs> <laughs> the sound mixing all right. is all. Okay, it was all right. all right, I'm interested. Uh, kind of, sort of. No, but it's good. I'm just trying to figure out how things got really apocalyptic so fast. I'm like I said, I gotta go back and watch the first Godzilla again, yeah. which which was really good, by the way. Yeah. Um, and just seeing the second trailer, man, it's just it's intense. Just seeing the monsters come about yeah. and and just listen. It's you gonna be it's, you're going in there with the idea like this is just gonna be an all out like smash them up, you know, monsters destroying stuff and just great visual effects. So I'm I'm in for it. It's like Pacific Rim with plot. Yes, I, yes. That's, so, thank why you. Yes. That's my Pacific Rim, okay? Hey, Pacific, Pacific Rim, had, Rim was terrible. Had, had I'm, moments. I'm the first one, the first one I thought was cool. Then the second one I was the like, The second nah. one had moments, okay? Yeah. It had moments <laughs> of, <laughs> of, okay. Nah, it was like right. when Rampage right. came out, I was like, oh, they're just getting us ready for Godzilla. <laughs> for Way to go, Rampage. Oh, man. All right. So what else we got uh, on the agenda for today? So we talked about that. Um, we got Aquaman coming soon. Yeah. Um, now I bring up Aquaman because, um, of course, Spider-Man is getting rave reviews, almost got like a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes and all that good stuff. But unfortunately the score for Aquaman is kind of taking it into shorts. They're like, he's pulling like a, like a 60% right now. Now, right now, Rotten Tomatoes yeah. got it at 75. 75. See, that's 8. that. 8.3 that, 8. that, on that's IMDb. That's that Warner Brothers money I, I think kicking in. I trust, I trust IMDb more than Rotten The check's in the mail. <laughs> the yeah. checks are in the mail. Uh, but still, I mean, I, well, you know, Wonder Woman pulled what, 90-something? Yeah, but that was really good. Yeah. yeah. You can't. You, that's Wonder Woman. You can't expect most movies to pull that. Mm. You know. But I, I'm just saying in comparison, though, to like something like, Another DC property that's like killing it right now uh, on in the nerd world. Uh, everybody's having ger- uh, geek gasms uh, all over the, the internet, which is the Elseworlds crossover that's happening on the Arrowverse right now. Like everybody's freaking out. Like uh, the mo- they're fighting like the Monitor or something like that, and there's a whole bunch of re- revelations and stuff like that. That like even about like G- Green Lantern and and Batman and all that stuff. It's like and people are just freaking out about it. And to set up something else that possibly is going to happen in the future for another crossover. So the uh, uh, reason why I bring it up is why is do you think that it's so easy for the TV shows to get this stuff right for the fandom than the DC movies? Well, I can't say that that's true because they lost me at like Flash season four. Yeah, I've yeah. been out. The whole time. Hmm. Yeah, they lost me when they, like, now what? Flash is Green Arrow and Green Arrow is Flash? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that, that's what is happening right now, yeah. Because the, the, the monitor messed with the timeline or is whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, well, that's what, what happened. Yeah. Okay. He messed, with, the, he messed with, uh, with reality itself. Hmm. So that's what's happening right now. Um, but, I mean, well, these seasons because... are rolling, you know what I'm saying? Like, they haven't got canceled like these Netflix shows, you know what I'm saying? Right, um, yeah, but they haven't been nearly as good. Come on, let's not compare. <laughs> They're rolling, <laughs> man. They're making money, man. They're making I, I'm, money. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. But listen, um, I think you can tell a, you can tell you can do a, so much more when you have, you know, 17 to 20 episodes to explain something, and and you get a chance to fix it. You get a chance to fix it. That's you true. can have a. There was a bad season of Arrow. Yeah, of Arrow, there is. Yeah, there was a bad there season. Like, a okay, bad. and then they came back and were like, okay, let's fix this. Yeah, and now it's like. Let's just bring all the characters together all the time, so we never know who pops up. So all the shows are really helping each other, but it's harder to do that in a DC universe because you know Flash is useless underwater. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, what, what is he doing there? I don't even know where Aquaman. I mean, is, is in the timeline uh, of Justice League and all that. From what I know, Aquaman picks up right after Justice League. Right after Justice League. Interesting. Okay, so you know, I'm gonna give Aquaman a shot. I, I am too. I'm gonna see it. Yeah, I was yeah. definitely gonna see it. Definitely yeah. looks like it's like kind of has that Indiana Jones type of feel. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But I think that's why, like, you can tie once you start getting people. If you like 
Flash, and they tie Flash into Arrow and Arrow in the Worlds of Tomorrow, and you like just one of those shows in Supergirl, then you're going to watch. So that's why they're successful. It's like you take my favorite character and put him in something else. I'm probably going to watch it. Is Constantine probably, involved in this? Yes, he's in. He's in. He's a character in Legends of uh, Tomorrow. The okay. uh, yeah, the the ensemble show. Yeah, let's see. Like Constantine's a character. I would like. I would just check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, like he's a main character right now in yeah. this season. So that's yeah. why. That's what I think the big difference is. Hmm. But it's too. It's too late for me. It's too. It's no going back. No. It's you gotta no catch back. up. Nah, man. Nah, Come on, man. I mean, I'm I'm way. You tapped out too. I'm, I'm very tapped out. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm way out. I, I mean, I was. I, I, I was I admit, curious. I'm trying to catch up on Arrow right now. I'm, so, I'm curious I'm, to watch Bat, I'm very Bat far Batwoman. Away. And yeah, that's the only reason why I want to watch it because yeah. of the Batwoman thing, and I want to catch up to the Elseworlds thing. But uh, you know, what can I say? I can't talk Terry and jo- uh, Tarek and Joey into it. You know? No, I mean, I, I kind of <laughs> want to catch. I really like Flash. I kind of want to catch up on Flash. Yeah, but I'm like two seasons behind. Yeah, same. You so can do it. You can do it, Tarek. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm out. Oh, Listen, and let's man. say and let's say start involving like in, when Flash starts crossing over where Narcos. <laughs> Mexico <laughs> Then we got some pa- Possibilities You know This is going to involve Some time travel but- Alright all right, Fair <laughs> enough Fair enough Alright So we got anything else On the agenda We need to talk about today Gentlemen got the Flash um, moving uh, For hey. the Mexican cartel <laughs> <laughs> I mean Yeah Crossover with bacon, bacon I wonder bagging. how much The shipping is <laughs> Since it's that fast Like Amazon They said something Was supposed to cross over With Bacon Brad What TV show was that which one? They said some TV show is going to be like uh, a crossover with Breaking Bad. Walking uh, Dead. Walking Dead. Yeah. Walking Dead's going to cross yes. into Breaking Bad? Supposedly. There, there was like there was the, a rumor um, that they might. But yeah. why? I don't know. Good question. I don't know, Joey. Because maybe it's just like in now. just the AMC crossover board stuff. now? <laughs> like they weren't zombies at all. It's just yeah. everyone was on meth. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> it's, just, it's just what they were seeing. We were just <laughs> one big long trip. Like, man, that's some good <laughs> Oh man! So are we done? With, we got we hit everything we need to talk about today, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if we'll be back for um before the, the end of the new year, right? Yeah, well, for yeah, a holiday, you, you got some vacation days. Oh uh, yeah, we got some. We both Lucky got some you. vacation days. I got no Joey. vacation days. Well, you know, that's what you get for being a <laughs> it's, uh, international late, superstar. Late DJ. night's yeah. hottest DJ. Yeah. yeah, that's what you get. You should just be the middle of the road inter- entertainer like me. <laughs> just stay local, Joey. Just stay local, okay? Anyway, <laughs> Joey, let them know what's up with you and uh, your uh, uh, maternal make sure, life. Yeah, when make sure the, you uh, follow up for me on the gram and on Twitter at Joey Franchise. I have my website joeyfranchise dot com, which is actually getting uh, redid. And um, yeah, uh, Monday through Friday. Seven at midnight, Wild ninety four one. Yeah. All right, tap in, Mr. Tarek Lewis. Tell me what's going on in your world, sir. Where you uh, got just, just follow up with me on uh, Instagram. My name is Tarek T A R I K okay. on Instagram, and uh, hit up my YouTube page for some content and All some right, other cool. stuff. All right, um, of course for me, uh, my return life as a DJ. You can always follow me at DJ Speedy Jr. Uh, and uh, if you didn't know, I talked about it a couple times on the show and different shows, but I do edit a comic book. Which is hey. a gentleman that we uh, we had here in the show, Mr. Uh, Albert King, uh, Albert Dalmas. It's, he does the Alien X comic. I edit his content. Uh, it's kind of like a story editor. And those comic books are available right now on uh, Amazon and Comixology. Uh, you can check it out. We're, we're, we are about to release issue three. So issue one and two are out there right now. Right. And go check it out. It's something a little different. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It's called Alien Ox. Alien with an uh, O-X at the end. Gotta bring okay. some copies in, man. Yeah, I will. I'll bring in. Uh, I got some PDFs I'll share with you. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> PDFs. All right, guys. Another Geek Culture Congress. We're signing off, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. We'll, hope, we'll come back with some reviews after we watch the uh, Spider Man uh, movie, that and worked. after we watch some Aquaman and Bumblebee, of course. Yeah, Bumblebee. That too. Of course Bumblebee's coming this week, uh, next weekend. It or looks this really weekend? good yeah. too. Is it this weekend? Yes, yeah, this weekend too. So. Uh, go check out go check out all those movies. It's a good time to be a nerd. See you on the flip side, guys. Peace. Peace.